Hello, I'm going to show you how to uh, edit and format the content in an MUS website. First thing you do is go to the multiple use website uh, button. And we're going to pick uh, the panic and anxiety clinic.com website. So you click on this little button there. And we're going to view the page because this is one that's already been created. Here's the different content that I've created in this website. It includes videos, mostly content, and some images. So let's say right now we want to uh, edit this here, this content that I've already put in. You can edit most of the content in these blocks. This is what's called a one-column block, and this is a two-column block. So there's two columns, two blocks that fit in the two columns. So let's say we want to edit this one. We can edit any of them, but this one's called a header content. And this up here is called your um, uh, header image, you're uploading a header image. So let's look at this one here, which is the header content. I'll click on that. Now, this is uh, looks just like a basic word processor. You can go up here and you can increase the font size. You can reduce it back. You can change the font family to be anything you want. You can also change the color. There's the color there. Let's just go back to black. Oops. You have to highlight it. Go back to black. Down here, you can italicize it. You can bold it. You can underline it. And you can highlight and undo anything you want. You can also highlight, whoops. You can also um, change all of them at once by highlighting them. Change them all in color. Okay. Now here's a what's called an undo, and that would be a redo, right? Undo. Um, another thing you can do here is you can increase the line height. So let's go here and take a look at uh, line height. You can double it. Make it 1.15. Make it single space. That's pretty tight. Or default. Now I like this just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make it probably 1.5. And I'm going to add a little bit to this too and maybe even create a whoops go back to your undo that's a little high uh, let's see how that kind of works okay now be sure to save if you don't save it you know yeah sometimes people accidentally hit cancel go ahead and save it And then if you want to view the page, you can look at it this way. So I'm going to go back in here now and change this. I'm going to give it a – and maybe we'll even make this a little bigger, right? That looks pretty good. Now we can also, um, we have some other features that we're going to be having in which we can increase and decrease the size of these blocks and add other images and such over on the sides. So let's say, let's take a look at this. Now we're going to move this see more over to here, but when you click on see more, you can actually see 
the content that's intended to go into that page. You can go back. And I personally think that font size myself, I think it's a little small. Um, but some people think it's fine. So I guess it just all depends on what you like. Um, but you can go in here. Let's, this is what's called your website content. Now, to edit it, you click on the edit button down here and you start editing. Now you can change these right here. Um, uh, this is a little tricky. You gotta sometimes play with this a little bit. This is your ordered list and this is, you know, kind of unordered lists. So these are circles, disks, or squares. Now those are turned into squares over there, but we can also change it to numbers. Or we can change it to Greek numbers. <laughs> a little funny. Uh, alpha, all right, C, A, B, C. Um, or just go back to default, which is numerical. You can also indent these to the right, right? Now that's a little bizarre, right? Um, so what you end up having to do is get everything back to the left. To do them all. Now, if you wanted to do these, you could make these A, B, whatever. Um, right? Now let's go back. Let's indent that. And we can change that if we want to. A, B, okay? Um, so you can do a lot of little formatting. You might have to play around a little bit to get the hang of it, but it's a fairly systematic system. Now, this is a two-column one. Now, if I wanted to make this one column, I'd click on that and then hit Update. And then when you go to look at your page, look at the difference. Now you've got one page about Dr. Connor, and when you click on it, you'll see most of the content there. Now, right now, it shows this being cut off right here. Um, very soon, probably within the next week, we'll have the content going down to the bottom. Um, and this See More will be over at this end, so people can click on it to open it up. But you get the idea. So I'm going to go back in, go to the website content, Click on the edit, make it two columns, okay, um, and update. View the page. So there it is. Now I'm going to show you what to do in terms of these photos here. How do we insert those? And these are all by, oh, this is like, all you're doing here is input, inputting a photo into a blank page. Um, well, actually, just let's just sort of leave it at this, and we'll uh, make this another video on how to do video, how to insert uh, images uh, into uh, uh, blocks that are text-oriented. So we'll just stop right there.